Hey guys, my name is Brian Lee and welcome back to another exciting tutorial here in Photoshop. Today we're going to be going over how to prepare a window wall frame for a design or a concept board. So before we get started today, I just wanted to make sure that you had a chance to sign up for our newsletter. Um, there's some really cool stuff coming up pretty soon and if you're digging these tutorials, you're really going to like what is on the way. So I'm putting a link in the description box. So whenever you get a chance, just go down there and click that if you haven't joined the newsletter yet. And uh, yeah. All right, let's get started. All right, so here we have a product image that I want to use in my design. I'm just going to pull that over to the Photoshop icon, drop it on there, and it's going to make a new document for me. I'm going to hit F to toggle views so that I can pan around. Now, what I want to start doing is just removing everything except for the frame. So um, I want to first start by duplicating the original. So I always have an original. And I'm going to do this by masking. And I like to mask things because that means that I don't ever delete the original and I can always add back onto my selection. Let me show you what I mean. So uh, let's just start by selecting the frame itself. I'm going to hit M for the marquee tool. Make sure it's on its rectangular setting. I'm just going to start selecting this frame. And the cool thing about this frame is that it's symmetrical, which most frames are going to be, I guess. So we only really need to concentrate on one side. And then we can just, ah, Photoshop's flipping out on me so sensitive. All right, so once we finish one side, we can just kind of flip it to the other side and uh, call it a day. So All right, so there's that. Let's just get this center beam. And when you're doing this kind of work, it's sometimes can be very overwhelming when you see an image that's just full of color and full of just different tones. And there's a lot of going on, like you got this plant down here that's getting in the way. So it just helps to think about that if, if the image is symmetrical or if they're, um, if you can break it down into basic shapes, the more basic you can make the shapes, the better just to simplify it in your head so you don't get overwhelmed. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Let's just finish off this center beam here, about halfway. Cool, let's get this one down here. Now, I'm gonna hit L, and I'm just going to use the lasso tool, hold shift, bring it down. Let's just get, there we go. Now let's subtract, hold the Alt. Now let's just do this. Make the entire selection of all the windows. Removing that from the selection. And then we can just add back in these frames by holding shift. Great, so let's see how that looks. So now I'm just going to use the mask tool, come down here with my selection made. I'm going to hit this icon and you can see that it's only left us with the frame itself, which is pretty cool. So um, now let's, uh, let's go ahead and duplicate this. 
I'm going to hit Command T and then flip horizontal. And uh, obviously, I don't need a door on both sides, so I'm going to hit M. Just remove the door from this side. Now, to do that, all I need to do is fill my mask. So I'm going to select my mask. I'm going to hit Command Delete, and that's going to fill my mask with black, which is my background color. Cool. So now uh, we're getting pretty close to what the original looked like, I think. Um, and then it's just a matter of color. So we could go in there and uh, manipulate the color. We could, I guess, maybe just add a hue and saturation to the entire image and just bring down the saturation to make it all black and white. Um, maybe a little bit of a blue we could bring in so that depending on the what's going on outside of your windows, like if it's uh, sky blue outside or something, there's going to be a little bit of that left on the image itself. So um, let's try to add a little bit of color. I'm just going to go to maybe a sky blue. I'm going to fill that with my foreground color by hitting Alt plus Delete. And then I'm just going to turn this to color. And now if I, uh, if I, I'm going to turn that saturation off, just delete it. And now if I clip it to my, um, my background copy, I can just reduce the amount by a bit and you can see how it just fills in some of those hot spots that were originally super red with uh, with blue. Cool. Crank that up a little bit. And you can even delete. Like maybe we don't need it on this side. I think the door was the biggest offender. Great. So uh, let's fine tune this a little bit and connect these top pieces by Let's just merge it all at this point. Merge layers. Hit M. I'm just going to select this small piece here, hit Command T, and drag it over. Enter. Excellent. So now we have a nice strong frame that we created from our product image that we can now incorporate into our design. Thank you guys for being here for yet one more tutorial here at the Design Cure. I do encourage you to head on over to our website and check out all the other tutorials that we have and the design kit. So until next time, happy design. So this tutorial was brought to you by the Living Room Design Kit, which allows you to build custom, beautiful rooms at the click of a button. Check it out and learn more on our site, thedesigncure.com. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you in the next lesson. Again, be sure to subscribe to the channel and receive new tutorials every week that will help you master Photoshop for interior design. Thanks again for joining me and we'll see you next time.